lesson we're going to talk about negative externalities of consumption as a market failure. By now you've probably already completed a lesson on negative externalities of production, which is usually the first type of market failure that you've learned in your economics class. Let's review quickly what the definition of a market failure is before we get into explaining what makes this particular type of market failure a good example. Markets fail whenever the free market equilibrium price and quantity is not the socially optimal price and quantity. In other words, if a free market fails to produce the socially optimal quantity of a good, then it is considered to have been a market failure. Either too much of a good is produced, in the case of negative externalities, or too little of the good is produced in the case of other types of market failure, such as monopoly power, positive externalities, public goods, and so on. In this case, we're going to be looking at an example of a market in which too much of the good is produced by the free market. The amount produced based on private costs and private benefits is greater than the socially optimal amount. The example we'll use for our illustration today is the market for alcohol. So let's give our graph a name here. We're going to be looking at the alcohol market, specifically alcohol consumption. We'll put the price on the vertical axis representing the price of alcohol and the quantity representing the quantity of alcohol consumed. Let's go over to our definition here and define what a negative consumption externality is. In a previous lesson, we defined negative production externality. Well, it's a very similar definition here, except we're looking at how the consumption of a good affects third parties not involved in the market itself. So a negative consumption externality arises when the consumption of a good creates spillover costs on third parties not involved in the market. In other words, if consuming a good harms somebody else in society that had nothing to do with that goods production or consumption, then we're looking at a situation in which negative consumption externalities exist. Alcohol just so happens to fit this description quite well. Of course, not everybody who consumes alcohol is going to harm a third party. However, there are some negative externalities that could arise from alcohol consumption. To name a few, you've got drunk driving and the risks of drunk driving accidents. You've got uh, bad behavior at bars or even at the home. When people drink too much, they tend to behave badly. This could cause spillover costs for people who aren't even consuming alcohol. These negative externalities of consumption can be illustrated in a marginal benefit, marginal cost diagram, which we're going to do now. Let's start by first identifying the private costs and private benefits of alcohol production and consumption. We'll, we'll first draw our demand curve, which corresponds with the marginal benefits to the consumers of alcohol. So our demand represents the marginal private benefits. We're going to distinguish between private and social benefits here in just a moment. Let's draw the supply curve next. The supply of alcohol in the free market, S, represents the marginal costs to producers. Now we're not looking at production externalities here, so we don't need to distinguish between the private and social costs of alcohol production. This marginal cost curve represents both the marginal private cost and the marginal social cost, since there are no negative externalities of production in the alcohol market, at least not that we're analyzing in this lesson. So where's the market failure in this graph? First, let's identify the free market equilibrium quantity of alcohol, the intersection of supply and demand. This will be our equilibrium quantity and the free market equilibrium price determined at the intersection of supply and demand. This is our equilibrium price. The negative externality arises from the consumption of alcohol. The way we show this is that we can illustrate a social benefit, a marginal social benefit curve that lies to the left of the marginal private benefit curve. There are what we call negative social benefits. In other words, costs arising from the consumption of alcohol. Hence, our social benefit curve, marginal social benefit, is less than the marginal private benefit. That is the defining characteristic of a negative consumption externality. If the marginal social benefit of a goods consumption is less than the marginal private benefit of a goods consumption. We'll add that up here. So when the marginal social benefit of consumption is less than the marginal private benefit. We can interpret this. How do we interpret this? Society as a whole benefits less than the private consumer. 
This is because of the negative consumption externalities. There are harms imposed on society resulting from the goods consumption. Looking at our graph, we can see that the marginal private benefit, we'll go over to our notes here, and we can notice that on our graph, our marginal private benefit is greater than our marginal social benefit. There are negative social benefits. What's a negative benefit? This basically means costs imposed on third parties as a result of the negative externality of consumption. Our supply and marginal cost curve represent both the MPC and MSC because there are no externalities of production in this case. The equilibrium quantity in our graph, QE, is greater than the socially optimal quantity of QSO. We need to identify the socially optimal quantity on our graph. Of course, socially optimal output is found at the intersection of the marginal social benefit curve and the marginal cost curve, the marginal social cost curve. So our socially optimal quantity of alcohol is less than the quantity that would be produced and consumed by the free market. How do we illustrate the deadweight loss or the loss of welfare arising from alcohol consumption? Let's look back at our equilibrium quantity and we can see that at that quantity, the marginal cost imposed on society from alcohol consumption is greater than the marginal social benefit. How do we interpret this? Society is worse off because of the overconsumption of alcohol. And predictably, there is a loss of total welfare, in this case represented by the triangle, below the marginal social cost curve and above the marginal social benefit curve at our equilibrium quantity, and between the socially optimal quantity and the free market equilibrium quantity. The triangle I've shaded in yellow represents the deadweight loss or the welfare loss resulting from the overconsumption of alcohol. In this case, we can indicate over here, this is the loss of total welfare resulting from the overconsumption of alcohol. What are some actual what are some actual costs that alcohol consumption imposes on society? This could be drunk driving accidents, domestic abuse, violence, alcoholism, and the loss of productivity it creates for society. There may be other imaginable externalities of alcohol consumption. These are just a few. Either way, we've got too much alcohol being consumed by the free market. Society would be better off if less alcohol was consumed and the price of alcohol were actually higher. So our socially optimal price is the price that corresponds with the socially optimal quantity. There's two ways to look at this actually. If the price of alcohol were lower, you could say PSO, if PSO were lower, then a smaller quantity would be supplied of alcohol or you could go up to the private demand, the private benefit curve, and indicate that if the price were higher, there would be a smaller quantity demanded of alcohol. This actually leads into our discussion of possible solutions. There might be two ways to reduce the quantity of alcohol consumed closer to the socially optimal quantity. Either raise the price so consumers demand less alcohol, or reduce demand for alcohol, which would lower the price and lead producers to produce less of it. Either way, we can now move on to some possible solutions to negative consumption externalities. Thank mm -hmm. you.